Capricorn. It's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So this will be the energy for this day. This energy could be past, present, future for you. However it resonates, please do like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also, um, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Anyhow, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Off camera, when I was shuffling, what I got was the Two of Wands. So some of you have found your footing in something. You have maintained stability in doing two things or being in the middle of. But now the universe is calling you to make a decision here so that you can progress to the Three of Wands where you can actually, um, you've actually done the creation work, okay? And you can start to see um, everything come back into you and turn into um, the Four of Wands, a celebration um, of a project, of a completion of, um, where you have something solid, stable, and you can just build upon that. Um, so, I don't know what this decision is about. I don't know if you have two different ways you can go into something or about something or just if this is an overall lifestyle change from going to being single, adventurous, outgoing, autonomous, answering to no one, to being more committed or in a commitment, um, more settled in your energy, more in, you know, um, a day-to-day -day situation, maybe even with some monotony or maybe even it being mundane at times but still it is um, solid stable and committed so it's like you got two opposing uh, things because these when the two of wands comes out those two options are in direct opposition with each other they don't go together that's why you have to decide if they go together you can just do both right so um you have to decide on something, meaning you have to cut out one of the things and put all your energy effort into just that one thing, okay? So you can see turnover, manifestation, uh, you can see it grow, expansion in, in that that thing that you're doing. This can also talk about a karmic choice too. If you choose wrong, then you're going to, you, you know, it could be a karmic decision here where you got to learn the lesson, rework, rewire, work your way out of uh, the situation here. Um, it could also talk about two, you know, having two people. You got to choose from tried and true and then that new, adventurous, fun, seductive, sexy person. I don't know. Um, it says that in the two of ones, the grass is always greener, okay? Um, that's a way to look at life, at some things. Not all things. Um, let it resonate for you as, as it will. Um, you've also found financial stability in doing maybe two things or dividing yourself amongst. Let's see. The tower, okay, the tower coming up for you. So this is about relationship, um, situationship, marriage, business, interpersonal, how you show up you know, interpersonal connections here. How you, how you, your personalities and dealing with other people. There's a sudden upheaval of events here. Uh, yeah, or a sudden upheaval of emotion. Something is flipped on its head, it's turned over. Um, it's no other way but to start over because things are being cast out or things are being spit out or, or just um, something is, is uh, unexpected, sudden unexpected upheaval. Something you were doing or you are doing, it just was built on faulty ground anyhow with the tower here. Some of you, this is when you start a relationship and you're already in one. This is when you have shady business deals. Something just did not start correctly, okay? Um, therefore, the universe is coming in to bring the tower so that it can shake things up. So now you can restart, rebuild, restructure. 
The tower also talks about something that has historical value, an issue that has historical value. Okay, so maybe you this issue has always been there. You've kind of skirted over it and, you know, gleaned over it, slid over it, just not dealt with it, jumped over it. Um, but now it's coming back up because it didn't go anywhere. It's just that you didn't deal with it. Or when you did deal with this situation, when it did arise, you didn't deal with it correctly or accurately. You didn't let, you know, you didn't make it go away. You just kind of, you know, put a fancy coat on it and put it in the corner. So I don't know. There's something that is coming back up for you. Um, let's see. Wow. The star card. Um, that's the card right after. So it says, with this upheaval, this sudden upheaval, this shake up and this mash up and mix up, there's opportunity for reconciliation, healing, renewal. It's opportunity to get back on the right path here um, between yourself, with yourself, and maybe someone else here. It's opportunity uh, for healing uh, on a massive level. Though, I don't know if someone is seeing this or you're you're seeing this or whatever is coming out is being displayed um, on a massive level here. But something like that is happening. Star card. Something monumental is happening. You have two majors coming out and they are in order. Four of air. This gives you an opportunity to kind of take a break, take a rest, to think about the future here. Uh, I don't know if you have an argument or there's some upheaval. Someone said something. Um, you didn't win something. Something didn't, all of a sudden didn't go your way. Um, and now there's restructuring. There's a renewing, renewing, a rekindling, a re reunion of something. You thought something had gone away, but it didn't. You got, it, It's coming back. This could even be legal issue, legal, something that has legal ramifications. You thought this was gone away. You were making plans for the future in terms of being away from, but it was temporary. Maybe you thought you could delay something as long as you could, but now it, it's all of a sudden it's coming back up. You're going to have to deal with it. Right, I knew it. And then the paperwork card flopped flips onto the floor. Um, paperwork, contracts, um, something was up in the air. A decision maybe from a judicial matter about family, a family dynamic was up in the air here. Um, all of a sudden, something about your family, it came out in the public, in a very public scale platform, I don't know. And um, it went away, but now it's coming back. Something is coming back you've been served or you're serving someone or you got to deal with these legal issues you have to deal with this paperwork um you can no longer leave it up in the air or somebody can't leave the decision up in the air in terms of you or with you somebody has to make a decision are they in or are they out about this partnership about this union yeah this could be in terms of family. This looks like family court, child support, um, legal documents, thought something that y'all were on the back, on the right track, but somebody is not happy with. You thought you were doing just enough to keep it going or keep something up in the air. But you, you might have to go back to court. Yeah. Some of you could be taking the father of your child, children to court, back to court. Someone's bringing you back before the court. Somebody is requesting for something to be looked at again. Someone wants to tell their story about you or you about them. 
someone could even want to reconcile with you. If this is same sex, there's somebody who wants to reconcile with you. So this is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, please go over to the website book there. Take advantage of the text question or you text the question to the number below and receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Um, you can also pay um, via your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to. Get in on the full moon release ritual happening July 23rd. If you feel like you need to release some energies so that you can clear your slate, clear, um, sever ties, banish, whatever. Get in on that ritual so that you can use this full moon to help you. The full moon energy to help you. All links are below Capricorn. Thank you. Many blessings to you.